Hi, welcome to Information First video series. What we've decided to do with the recent launch of MicroFocus Content Manager 10 is do a series. So a little laid back from when 9.4 was launched, uh, I've decided to do a series of videos. I've put them together in a playlist. So let me uh, open up uh, Edge and just gonna give you a little tour of our, our of our YouTube site. Obviously, if you're watching this video, you've come here, but just as a refresher, uh, when you come to our homepage, you'll see the list of recent uploads. So right now, you can see that there aren't any videos. Uh, you're gonna see new videos. What I've done is I've changed the color theme for any video that features Content Manager 10. That'll have a blue background. Uh, notice that and look at the ones that have a black background that will indicate Content Manager 9. So blue will be Content Manager 10. Black will be Content Manager 9. Control point is that light uh, baby or uh, control point is white colors. If you click on our videos, you get a list of all of our different videos here. You can kind of start to see the colors, so they will be distinguishable from the list of videos. And what I've decided to do here is I've created a custom playlist for Content Manager 10. So any videos that I put up that feature Content Manager 10, I'll automatically throw in this playlist so you'll be notified and you can watch them all. In terms of this launch of this introduction video, uh, what I would suggest you do, starting with this video, hopefully, uh, go on and watch the rest. I've kind of broken it into three different videos so far. I have one that features the Explorer, one that features the desktop changes, one that features the web client changes. What will be coming very soon is an administrative focused video, and that will be four videos to round it out. And then I'll, I'll also do one on data port in the future. So that's kind of where we are. Uh, don't forget to like the videos, uh, subscribe as well to be notified of, of future announcements. And by all means, please post in the comments if you're enjoying the videos, if you want to see topics, we'd really appreciate it. It gives me uh, fuel and gives me inspiration to, to make videos. And I also want to do videos around topics that are of interest to you. So let's talk about Content Manager 10. First off, scrolling behind me as I say this, is a list of recent changes or uh, improvements to Content Manager. Uh, as it scrolls by, anything with an uh, with a star beside it has been captured in one of the videos. I tried to address it. Ones that have not received a star, I haven't specifically called out or mentioned. But by all means, if you're interested in one of those topics, let me know and I'll try to get a video out. So there are a lot of improvements. There are a lot of um, uh, service requests, enhancement requests that have been incorporated into Content Manager 10. And I can tell you honestly that having played with it for the last week in preparing these videos, I really like it. I think some of the changes are smart. Uh, things are streamlined. It's a lot more efficient, and I think your users will love it. Any organization out there that's looking for cloud-based or is specifically moving to web-based uh, content and records management, this is certainly the way to go with the new and improved and always expanding and improving web clients. So uh, hopefully the scroll list has stopped by now. I don't quite know how long it's going to take for that to scroll. Uh, but let's get started in those videos again. Uh, you'll have a links to it. Now, I will admit, I am going to do a little bit of an overview in this video. I did forget one key improvement in the desktop overview, and that was the improvement of the print merge feature. So in this video, just to give you something to look at, I'm going to talk about print merge specifically in here. Let me close down my web page. And here we are in Content Manager 10. Uh, you can see, and if you watch, when you watch the other videos right now, I've removed my shortcut panel and in lieu of the new Explorer view. So if I click on the home button, hit Explorer, this is kind of the new view I do like and recommend. Uh, the fact that it synchronizes with the web client is perfect and fantastic. You'll see that as well. So let me just kick off this search for Dugong, get some results. Now, what I want to show here is the improvement on the print merge feature. So when we talk about reporting on our information, uh, we, we all know that we can definitely tag records and we can do a copy. Uh, where is it? Right there. This copies all of the metadata columns. So that'll be in your clipboard. You can then paste that in Excel. That's one way of doing reports. Another way of doing reports is to right click, go down to the send to menu and of course select a print report. So that would then use one of the default built in uh, trim forms and you could then do a report that requires a little bit of customization if you want to change the metadata that's on display. We also have other great features, uh, send references neat. Um, we have print documents if you want, web publish and XML export are all great ways to get your information out. The one that's always been a PETA <laughs> for a lot of people for a long time is the print merge feature. You'll be pleasantly surprised with what they've done with the print merge feature. So to generate a print merge source file, I'm gonna right click like I did, send to, and I'm gonna select the print merge. I wanted to do this with all tagged rows. I've only got three records selected, click okay. 
And now we've get, let me move this into focus. Now we get a nice dialogue. So the dialogue looks a little bit like some of the other dialogues you may or may not see when you're adding and customizing your columns or when you're adding and customizing your view pane. So what you can do now is you can go through and select. So let's say I'm doing this report on records. I definitely want to grab, and I, I usually just grab the first thing that looks good to me, but I'm probably going to look for the title or maybe the classification is something I want. So I would go down in here, I would find classification and I would look for the title. The problem is that I should, uh, okay. Oh, classification number looks good. Uh, maybe I'm going to grab the name of the classification. That looks good. Notice now as I select them, it's appearing on the current item. So this is something that we never had in the past. We would mysteriously click on things and they would, we wouldn't know where they were. So it, it kind of um, stressed, oh, maybe, maybe stress people out. Uh, the point is that it was a little more cumbersome to do. So I'm going to scroll down. There's a lot in classifications, uh, retention schedule. Again, I could do the same thing, open up the properties, uh, maybe bring out the schedule number. Uh, where is it? Schedule number right there. Uh, and then maybe I can scroll around a little bit more. I want to add, where's my, I'm looking for my record properties. Here we go. I'm going to collapse these again. So record properties. Now I obviously want the title of the record. That's going to be a little bit further down. Notice here I'm struggling in front of all of you and there's a little thing. So maybe I can just type title. Look at that. It filters. <laughs> Thank God I thought of that. Um, hit the title bar and I want to add this one and maybe I want number. So I'm going to type in number. Uh, I want the expanded number. That looks pretty good. Do I want any notes? Let me type in notes. Record has notes. Maybe yes and yes. So point being that the print merge is a thousand times better than it was. You can select, you can search. Uh, I remember, you know, nothing was in alphabetical order. How do we remember what things were, etc.? I'm going to pick an, uh, a word output file. Uh, I'll do a document. I'm going to call this uh, uh, CM10 demo like that. I can append, I can merge. I'm going to browse and put this just on my desktop like that and click OK. Yes to all. This part we all know. Now I've created my file. Let's go see what was made. There it is. Double click on it. Uh, I'll just bring it in. And there you go. And there is your source file. Now, obviously, since it's a print merge, I probably would have selected the other tab delimited format, but that's not very exciting to look at. Uh, it's This is way more exciting to look at in terms of the output perspective. The point is, uh, the main takeaway here is that the print merge dialog has improved greatly. Uh, certainly going to be for the, any of those, if for any of you out there who use the print merge feature, this is fantastic. So that's all I'm going to do on this video. This hopefully will be the shortest video of the series. Uh, basically wanted to introduce the playlist. I wanted to introduce the new color scheme for anything content manager 10. I want to thank you all for watching. I do kind of keep up on the views, the likes, the comments. Uh, it's been great. The trim community is fantastic. The content manager community is fantastic. So shout out to anyone who's watching. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Um, you're my inspiration. If you want to see topics, put them in the comments, send me an email. Um, I, I love doing these videos. So thanks again. Uh, I'll leave you with that. And uh, don't forget to like the video, uh, subscribe if you haven't to be notified of future video releases and hit the little bell to be reminded or notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.